Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at these colored pencils that I just picked up from Amazon. They're by the brand name, of course, as always, I cannot pronounce this name. It's um, Quan Shan. I'm gonna flash it up on the screen for you guys. Um, I'm sure you guys probably, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with this brand name. Mostly, I think you might be most familiar with them with their pencil cases. I think that might be their, what they're most popular for, but they do have some colored pencils. That was actually the first set of pencils that I ever got when I first started coloring was this brand, but not bad. They don't have color names. Um, I still have them somewhere in my, in a box somewhere, but I was searching on Amazon one day. I came across these and I thought it was interesting because they had not only this set of 12, like this is like a red set, and it's in Spanish. Um, I don't know why it's in Spanish because nothing else. They're made in China, but everything else, um, their other, all their other packaging is in English. So I don't know. Maybe these are meant for um, Spanish-speaking countries or something. I don't know. But they had this red set. Um, I'll flash them up on the screen, the different color sets. They have a blue set, a green set, and a yellow set. They're all $6.99, which probably if, like, per pencil, that's like 58 cents, which is not that great of a price, but there's only 12 of them. So when I got into the description and the pictures for these pencils, colors that they had in the sets, the name sounded very familiar to me. They looked like the same names that are attached to my Brute Funner 520 set. And I know I always say this, like names don't mean anything for the most part, but these names in particular are Pantone color names. That's what sparked my interest. So I wanted to buy them. I didn't buy all of the sets because if they are the same, I don't necessarily need them right now anyway, because I already have them. I thought it'd be interesting to, just in case you were, oh, if in case you were thinking about getting the 520 set and you didn't want to make the commitment who knows if you're going to actually like them and then you're stuck with 520 pencils and you know who wants that but if my suspicions are correct on this i thought it would be good a good option for you guys if you were interested in trying out the pencils from the 520 set before you actually bought them i already pulled the colors that appeared in the ad these are my fruit funners from the 520 set now, this is just also a side note. I'm going off on tangents here. There is another 520 Brute Funner set that just recently came out a few months ago. Now, this 520 set I'm referring to is the one that came out first. This one has color names. Um, these, um, in my opinion, are a step up above the Brute Funners that just come with numbers and no names. Those are... I believe a, a student grade pencil, these are nicer than those, in my opinion. This is all, everything in this video is my opinion. So um, they just recently came out with a 520 set of Brute Funners, but it's the ones with just numbers and no names. So they're, it's a different pencil than these. I know there's like tons of different Brute Funner sets out there and it's very confusing. But if you have any questions, just ask me. Um, I haven't tried all of them, but um, I do kind of know a lot about the different sets that they do have out there. So that's just a little side note on that. Um, so I pulled out my colors that matched the ad on this listing came via, they didn't get shipped by Amazon. They are in Amazon packaging, but just a, a bubble mailer. And they came, you know, with no padding or anything. So they came kind of squished from UPS but I don't think any of them are broken. So let's see what they, check them out. They did rub, rub up against the cardboard here. Okay, so just even on, clo not even close inspection, I don't even have the colors lined up yet, but they look very, very familiar to me. But let's see.
These are, I've used most, I've used these, of course, already. They're one of my favorites. But the colors, the barrel colors, hmm. Barrel colors look very similar. The cores look too close. So, it doesn't have, this is the fruit funner. And then this one just, Oh, interesting. These don't have any color names on them, but they do on in the picture. Oh, that's weird. And then it says permanent color. I don't know what that means. That sounds like something you'd say about a marker. And it has this weird little paw print. I don't know, very strange. But let's do a side-by-side -side swatch and let's see what we, we come up with. So I think I got my pencils matched up correctly since these don't have names, color names. Um, I think I'm gonna, we're gonna just be calling these QS pencils maybe just going forward just so I don't sound ridiculous for the rest of the remainder of this video. And um, okay, so let's get started. Let's see this one, we're gonna, I'm gonna do the Brute Funner first and then do the QS pencil next. This is 295 Crystal Rose from the Brute Funner 520s. It's a pretty pink color. And then this is the QS pencil in the same color. Allegedly, they look the same to me. Do they feel the same? Let's see. I apologize for any background noise filming this at like rush hour traffic time, I think. Um, uh, yeah, I think they kind of do feel the same. Although I do think, might be just in my head, but I do think the proof Funner might be a little bit nicer. All right, let's see. We'll do these two colors next. This is, oops, this is Tea Berry. This is 313. The brute funner. And then this is what I think is the, the same color in the QS pencil. Oh, maybe this is. Um, this one seems different. I didn't sharpen the end. I should have sharpened it before I started, but it's kind of an informal thing I'm doing here. Alright, so. These seem different. Oh, no, I guess. Oh, what am I? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, they're the same. I just have to do a little, going a little harder with this one, I think. This one. Am I shaking you? I'll try to put steady camera on it. Let's see if we can do that. All right, let's see. Next we'll do, ooh, Cabaret. This is... You know, I'm not even going to say the numbers because that is one of my biggest um, complaints about these Brute Funner 520s is the ridiculous, ridiculously small numbers. So this is Cabaret in the Brute Funner. And this is what I think is probably the same color. I might have messed up on some of these for color matches, but I did the best I could without the color names being attached, but I think I did pretty good. Um, those look different. I might have picked the wrong ones for that one. This is Azalea Pink in the Root Funner. This is the QS pencil. Those look the same. I'm gonna put these two on the side, this cabaret and this one. I might have mixed it a mix. I might have picked the wrong one for that one. Let's see, we'll do confetti. This is 300 in the Brute Funner. is the QS pencil. Next 
next we have a chrysanthemum. Again, this is the burnt fenner. And this is the QS. This one is lipstick red. This one is orange.com. This color I, is what really made me hip to that these are Pantone colors because I knew that was a Pantone color beforehand. Um, if you don't know, Pantone is just um, this company that does color matching. They have two different color match systems. They have one for printing and they have one for like home, like interior design and fashion, that sort of thing. So there's two different, the ones, the system they have for interior design and fashion is the one that have color names attached to their color colors, color numbers. I think the ones they have for printing just have numbers. This is Nash, Nostrum, Nostrum, Thunder. I used to work um, in fashion. That's kind of why I'm kind of partial to colors already before I even started coloring. And, you know, I used to do a lot of merchandising and that sort of thing. So colors have always been kind of my, I've been into colors kind of obsessed with colors, <laughs> different colors. This is Beet Red. I also have um, a Color Stories series I do on this channel where lately, about I've been doing it maybe once a month, I take a color and I do a little history, like a little two or three minute history on how the color started, where, who invented it, if it was invented, just little interesting little history tidbits. Well, I find them interesting. Um, they don't actually don't get that many views, but I really like to make them. And there's a select few of you guys out there that do like them, so I keep making them anyway. Um, let's see, this one is Fiery Red. Brooke Funner. The QS. And then finally, we have Barberry. Baby Barberry. Hopefully, I'm not shaking you this whole video. I did try to put the steady camera on. Hope it worked. And then the QS. That's all. All right, so what do you think? Do you think I was right? I think so. I was kind of questioning this these, this color here, but I think maybe I just might have colored one darker than the other. That's the only one I kind of can see, at least with my naked eye, that looks kind of different, maybe, but I could be crazy. You know, you start looking at lots of colors sometimes, you go a little mad. So I think, these are the same pencils. Now that is just my opinion. You can do with this information what you will. I think if, like I said earlier, if you are interested in checking out the 520 set for the colors or just um, out of curiosity, I think this would be a great set to try. Unfortunately, they don't have color names, so I guess you would have to um, try and match up the picture on the listing to what colors you think they are. If that's something that's important to you, I know some people don't care about color names. Um, they're not like uh, kooky like me, but I know some of you guys are like me and are do like color names on your pencils. 
but you could always just like stick a sticker on there and or write it in with a marker. So that was my little investigation for the week. I think um, I am a Scorpio, so I like to be a little detective sometimes. So that's what I got for you guys today. I'm just kind of curious about these pencils. And I thought some of you guys might be curious about them too. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.